Firstly, we need to create a new blank application for the demo. So please select blank as the template. Here, we're using Expo, but you can also use React Native CLI. Then go to the project directory and install the React Native Web View library, which is required to implement our platform in the React Native application. Next, in app.js, we will update the code in order to load the platform. Then, we will import the web view from the React Native web view library. After this, we're going to pass our URL as a source in the web view. This will be the URL you will receive that you can change parameters according to your configuration requirement. Then, we need to update the styles by adding width and height. Otherwise, only a white screen will appear. After adding the code, we will need to run the Android application in the emulator. You need to wait a few seconds for the emulator to boot up. Please note that it might actually take more time on PC but on real devices, it will be much faster. Now, you will be able to see that the platform lo is loading in the React Native application. You can try signing in or signing up. Next, if you pass the user ID in the URL as a parameter, it will handle the authentication of that user and will load the platform with this user ID. This way, you can say for sure that the user is authenticated since the user ID has been passed as the parameter. Happy integration! Guama.